two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi, I'm Mrs. C, and welcome to Creighton Discussions Creations, um, the uh, place where you just don't know what you're going to get, what I'm going to talk about. Um, it's not always about yarn. Do, 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 do. Um, anyways, um, trying to set up live streaming, and it's uh, taking a bit, but because I thought I would practice, because it's after midnight here in Alberta. And uh, that way I could goof it all up and not worry about people making a thousand of comments like, oh my god, you're, you're whatever, blah blah blah, this is the worst, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> so we will do another video. Um, not sure what I'm going to call this one. Maybe it'll just be... Uh, something very simple. Um, it's been in, and just to wrap up what's been going on with us for the last couple of days, um, Monday we got a call to get our butts to Edmonton Tuesday morning uh, to deal with uh, Mr. C's um, not draining problem with his uh, dialysis. Uh, so it was, uh, this happened about noon. So we got up and we left, like, just start packing. I called my friend to come, can you watch the dogs, can you look at the cats? And um, he, he said, yeah, he could, he was free. Um, and he's a great dog sitter. You know, he keeps, he, he helps to keep Copper happy and I'm really thankful for that. So that's just really awesome. Anyways, um, so yes, uh, we left. Uh, Wayne Wright and uh, got way late um, into um, Edmonton. Uh, not well, I guess not. I guess nine o'clock is not late. But when you have to grab a dinner and then we were staying, we got late, really late to where we were staying, um, and then had to get up really early the next morning, and the surgery was done and. It actually, get, this whole trip to Edmonton gave me time to do uh, those teacups I was talking about. Um, I'd only got two uh, done up, not fully made. I've got t ants to tuck in and stuff like that. But I was able to um, knock back several. Um, there's not a lot to do in the truck when was you got to go driving for like two hours so I did saucers first and then on Tuesday while I was in the hospital waiting for Kirk to have his surgery uh, and to uh, come out of anesthetic you know kind of recover to the point where they say yeah you can go home get out of your shoe um, I managed to actually get some to the tucking in ends and uh, pre the first uh, bit of stiffening so that I can get it so it's uh, I can put the uh, start put the paint on it there's me talking with my hands again um, so yes I got a bunch of those done and uh, I'm going to show them here in a minute so that would be works in progress and I'm really, really, really impressed with myself with exactly how well that went and uh, with that. But unfortunately, we had to spend another night because they wanted him back at the Ar Aberhart Clinic in Edmonton that deals with, it's the renal clinic where they uh, teach you uh, how to do uh, peritoneal dialysis at home. So this is good. So let's my bag here. So yes, this is my bag of teacups in progress. I s hoping this is going very well. It seems kind of laggy. A bit laggy. Okay, so fluff this up. I've got. They're, they're not stiffened yet, so they're a bit saggy, but I've got, I was playing with some colored yarn and the idea of the traditional white teacup, so there's that one. Um, 
and yeah they're really really kind of saggy since they're not stiffened but there's a black and white one I'm going to work with um, and then this was uh, those other two oh no that yeah this one this this okay I'll hold it still there this one actually made in the hospital that day and I, I believe that yes this this yellow one oh no it wasn't the yellow one that one I had was one of the the saucer bits was done and then I finished getting it together and there's this one here I made that one start to this finish in the hospital um, I think I may have showed this blue one before and had mentioned that whoops I need to hold still to bit blue one and that that was the uh, one that's for gift um, it's made with the rob, rob robin's egg blue and the hippie multi color um, and this one is the the burnett hippie and white And then this one is, they're all made with Bernat uh, crochet cot with the cotton. Um, I grew up calling it, my mom calling it crochet cotton. So uh, that's what it is. Can't really see that one. So maybe if I tip it there, there we go. Just dump all the tea out. Um, but okay, so for saucers, I have a red and white one I need to make teacup with and then there's this sort of peachy orange color there for the saucer um, I think this one I think is called fruit punch ombre hold it still so it'll come in I can't wait to get them finished up and uh, the way I want with the, the uh, paint and stuff. I'm going to use the white one as a tester for the paint. So I need to uh, get it, get these uh, all stiffened up and set up nicely. Um, I couldn't find any spray starch, so I, I don't know. That used to be a thing. I guess uh, people aren't ironing their stuff anymore. So anyway, so yeah, that's been the last couple of days that has been the works in progress um, as it's now Thursday the 2nd, yeah, it's May 2nd, I did not get them ready for May 1st, so that kind of sucks, but I was able to get a bunch of them to that uh, pre-stiffened pre, uh, stage, so that, that, that's cool. Um, and, uh, so that's good. So, uh, I, I didn't introduce you to, it's usually I, I introduce to, oh yeah, there's, this is Ugwe. <laughs> I kind of like having the shelf there, because it's right there. So, this is Ugwe. Um, he's our good luck tur turtle. And yes, he's named after the turtle on Kung Fu Panda. Absolutely, uh, Ugwe is probably my favorite character on this show. Uh, I do love Poe and everybody else, but I think Ugwe is my favorite. Um, reflects a lot of my philosophies in life. Anyway, so yes, he's my good luck turtle, our, our good luck turtle here at the Creighton House. And um, when we give him thanks for stuff, um, we just get lots of luck, you know? Um, and some good things happened to uh, his cousin up the street. She needed to have something, some good luck come to her life, and apparently he has reach up the street. 
um, Monday, <laughs> I couldn't find, copper has, uh, bass, bassets have all sorts of skin issues, but anyways, we used aloe vera gel, and he probably caught what brand that was, um, but anyways, his aloe vera gel, and he used to have that put on, um, randomly, and I wanted to leave that for the dog sitter, uh, for Rob there. Um, anyways, couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it, so Kirk talked to Ugwe, and I moved something, and there it was. So, once again, thank you very much to Mr. Ugwe here. He's a good turtle. Lots of luck, lots of positive energy. <laughs> and, and not a toy for you to play with there, squirt. <laughs> Simon Creighton <laughs> making an appearance. So, um, the time before when we were in Edmonton, uh, we happened to be in a shopper's drug mart and happened upon just this little teeny clearance table. And there was a couple of things. One is a gift for a friend's little girl. She's um, going to be about five months, going on five, four and a half, something like that. Um, just the cutest little thing. Anyways, I got really lucky because I picked up Big Sheep. Um, he's got sort of a wooly texture on his head. It's a boy. I know it's pink. Oh, maybe it doesn't look pink in there, but it's sort of a baby pink. There we go. Um, but it just has this sort of masculine presence about it, so I named him Bob. And that's my silly for tonight. So yes, um, we'll just keep Bob right here. Um, oh, maybe over here. Anyway, so sometimes I just I go looking. I don't need a thousand stuffies, but every so often I get one that speaks to me, and so I bring it home. <laughs> and apparently I need... I need Bob. He makes a nice little uh, travel snugly. Oh, sorry. Um, I think I'm moving around too much. Um, a little stiff because uh, lots of sitting. There's, uh, you know, when you're sitting in the hospital waiting and in the truck, two and a half, two to two and a half hours of driving. Um, had to pull over for a bit one time because he got tired. Um, but really glad to be home. Really glad about those teacups because I should have them uh, starting to get finished working on them tomorrow and then get uh, getting the thing. And that leads me to my Dollarama, a dollar store find. Uh, there's like half a dozen of them in um, Edmonton. Uh, we have a Your Dollar Store and More here in Wainwright. And so, uh, amongst a couple of uh, things like some zipper bags and bottled water for the trip home, uh, we bought a veggie tray, um, but it didn't have a lid on it. So, um, picked up some zipper bags and some extra candy and stuff as a thank you. For, to Rob for looking after everybody here and making sure the kiddos got their meds and fish got fed because <laughs> that's important um, anyways so but I went into the dollar store because I wanted to have see if I could find some miniature birds and some smaller butterflies to put on my teacups because I just thought that would look really really nice with the flowers um, Unfortunately, they didn't have what I was looking for. Um, I was hoping they'd have a little bit more better selection um, than my dollar store. I potentially am going to be going out tomorrow, so I'll be going and looking. Uh, tomorrow is uh, Baxter delivery day for dialysis um, stuff, so um, I'm not sure when I'm going to get out tomorrow because we'll just be waiting for a. Uh, well, I guess that's later today. Because it's the second. It's just after midnight. Anyway, so I'll have to wait for that. And uh, then I'll uh, be able to go out. Uh, I've got a couple of letters I want to mail. Um, so, 
Anyways, um, hold these up. I picked up these flowers um, to go with my teacups. Um, they don't have any stems. They're just the they're just just the flower heads. A whole package full of flower heads in there. Um, <laughs> Battle royal about to begin between Simon and Cleo. Okay. What's up with you? He's not. Where are you? That him being in the living room is like the worst thing ever. You need to relax. <laughs> That's a good boy, Simon. You go lay down. <laughs> your your sister's nuts. Okay. And then I got these pink ones. These pinky. Oh, they look a little red. On here. Um. I think that's because they're rather a hot, sort of a hot pink with the yellow and probably it's catching the uh, the camera on the computer is just picking it up. I've noticed that the, um, the laptop camera isn't always the best for picking up uh, colors. And so no butterflies for the way that I wanted butterflies, lots of stickers. Um, um, but not um, the butterflies that I wanted. Um, but I think I can make the ones that I got work. I'm loving the Dollarama. It's it, it's addictive in there. There's so much stuff and everything's like inexpensive. Like I can pick up four uh, for four dollars, like sixteen rolls of dog uh, crap bags, dog poo bags. Um, they come in handy for all sorts of things. I use them for the cat down. Um, helps control the odor. Just scoop that throat in the garbage and there. I've used them as uh, garbage bags. Just little personal garbage bags. So, anyways, for a dollar twenty-five at the Dollarama, I picked up one, two, three, four, five. Uh, though, um packages of butterflies, um, the flowers, these packages of flower heads were a dollar fifty. Um, that reminds me, I still haven't caught those wire cutters out of the truck and I'm going to need them for my other flowers. So, um, back to butterflies, um, there's these oops, white ones with green and stuff, and they're they're not a sticker as far as I could tell. Um, they have some nice stickers, butterfly sticker things, uh, sort of 3D ones. Um, fabric butterflies. They've got a little bit of a glue on them. Yeah, they're they're like those are uh, sew on patch things. They were very, very popular back in the 70s and 80s. I'm dating myself a little bit there. But yeah, there's that one. We'll bag them up later. And then there's these pretty blue ones. And then these ones are similar to those white trimmed ones. But... Oops, sorry. They're trimmed with blue. And then I have some, uh, yeah, so there's a, oh, I thought these were trimmed in black, but they're trimmed in brown. These ones are very, very similar, but they just, they're, they're trimmed in a brown and they're coming up kind of, yeah, you can sort of see that brown up against that black. And then, And then there's blue. There's these really pretty blue ones. But I thought, depending on how I, I used them, um, I could tuck them sort of, I could hot glue them on, and they would lay nice and flat. And that's kind of what I wanted, was a bit of a thing. It's, But it's not quite what I wanted, but I think it'll work. So I'm going to test drive some stuff on that white cup. That's the whole purpose of that white cup. And then... 
I w while I was looking for butterflies, I found I found dragonflies for a dollar twenty-five each, and there's these blue ones. So I thought they would look really, really kind of cool. Um, they've got wires on their backs, so that might be a little bit interesting. Um, but they're just really pretty. I don't know if they're showing up pretty on there. I might have to take one out of the bag because there's and there was green ones. These green ones and some hot pink ones. Nothing. None of this is probably showing up very well. So there. Um, I have a friend that really likes purple. I love purple too. Um, she likes purple. So I'll take them out of the bag. Get them on the car. And then maybe purple ones will show up. What they got? There we go. Yeah, a little less. But they're really, really pretty. So that's kind of cool. And then I, as I was in their crafts corner, and these are each a dollar twenty-five. I got five bags of these different colored sequins which I don't know these ones are green and gold they come up with a green and gold kind of thing um, let's see if these pink ones will show up I don't dare open the bag yeah there we go in, bring it in a little bit better I don't know there we go there's the pink ones the green ones didn't show up very well um, and there's the blue ones. So if you're in Alberta, I don't know where all the Dollaramas are, but if you're definitely in Edmonton, um, that's where I found them. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly where. Um, these ones are sort of a purpley magenta. They're sort of a magenta color with that thing. Um, they're not showing up very well on the on the screen here and then these are white ones I'm getting lots of glare oh you can kind of see the iridescent iridescent ones um, with what looks like some of that ever dreaded uh, glitter stuff in it um, so that was uh, my dollar rama store finds, um, and definitely if you're in Edmonton, go check that out because they've got all sorts of really neat stuff. And as I'm walking through this store, um, because I've been watching Crystal with her giveaways, to, uh, Crystal from Bag O'Day. Oh, excuse me. And she had one, uh, a new one up this month uh, for uh, Hobium. Um, and I will try and remember to find links for that, uh, for her thing, to go and support her. Um, and Rose Likes Crochet was doing, has been doing giveaways. Uh, Fiber Hearts, great couple, definitely worth the watch. Um, they had an in-live video one. So um, I would hope that when people... Um, are subscribing they're not just sub subscribing to uh, get the giveaways because um, it kind of if you're just in there to just to get the freebie and then you're moving along you're kind of robbing from the loyal supporters the people who watch all the videos and in Crystal's case she's got awesome tutorials uh, for crochet items like like those teacups um, let me see if find the book here so those teacups are uh, on bag o day crochet uh, tutorial number 331 um, and she's just an amazing person very very generous and she will give it to whoever wins the random comment picker, picker, but if you're just trolling through to get freebies, you know, it's okay that you win this stuff, but she has a lot of loyal, very loyal followers, I'm one of them, and uh, you kind of, 
make it harder for us to uh, get a chance to win. No claws, Cleo. <laughs> Silly girl. You should poke me in the leg. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Um, so sometimes it's be nice um, and just it. Just leave it for. Um, leave it for her loyal followers, especially the big ones, because I'm I'm not in a place where I have a ton of money. I manage to get lucky. And sometimes when I do have a little bit of money, I can hit sales and I can get a bunch of stuff. But um, it would be awesome to win one of her giveaways. So, um, anyways, and so that got me thinking about giveaways and and being in the back to the being in the Dollarama and looking at all the cool stuff in there. Um, one day I would love to do a giveaway too, and uh, I think I'm going to do like others. I'm not actually going to announce in uh, in the title that there's a giveaway, um, so that uh, maybe it's just a few people who are following me. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to do it. I think um, it maybe could be next year. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the Dollarama, and they had this re the next time we're up there uh, in Edmonton, and they have this really cool um, bag. And it's fairly large, decent bag, and it has two owls, really cute owls on the front. One's a, a guy with a owl with a bowler on, and, and, and then there's the girl owl next to him. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy stuff like these flowers, like craft items, maybe little journaly books throughout the year and I will put items in there and then um, keep following and seeing if I get some more support subscribers as far as I know I only have two right at the moment but two, woohoo, that's cool, awesome um, and uh, I'll get it full and it, it will have yarn and it will have um, just a multitude of things and when it's full then that's where I'll have a giveaway and if I still have only my two subscribers I'll put both of you in my in a hat a little piece of paper write your names on them and um, you'll get the bag so mine's not going to be based on when I hit a subscriber. It's just going to be when that bag is full. So um, that could be um, a couple months from now. That could be six months from now. I might decide to do it at Christmas because I might put a bunch of stuff um, that I make in there and then announce in November. Then and to send this off and. Um, see what kind of money we have because it's expensive to send stuff by post but who knows I'm not above doing giveaways and I'll be as generous as I possibly can um, with what I have so um, I, I do hope I have get some more subscribers going here because that's amazing I got really excited when I had the two because all of a sudden there was Connie and Elisa <laughs> And then there was this other person, I can't remember their name off the top of my head, and I think I buried, oh no, right here, uh, Rainbow Archerer um, is my, was my sec second uh, subscriber, so that was really kind of cool. It popped up and said, you have a subscriber, and they were like back to back, so I really appreciate that, guys, that you did that, because um, it's just nice. So, we'll see what we shall see. I will get the bag. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the bag. I'm going to fill it. And then when it's full, then I'm going to pick a winner. And I, um, I'm new here. So, I probably will spend one evening and, um, and go looking to see if 
um, my subscribers. I will have I write them down as they pop up, and I'll put all those names in a in a cup or something, and Mr. C will pick one, or somebody will pick one. I'll get some person to pick it, and then that winner will. I will announce that there was a giveaway, a silent giveaway, um, for my subscribers, and um, please get a hold of me. So I think that's cool. I think that's the way I'm going to do it. I, I'm not. Don't know that I am that this small that I'm going to sit there and announce. I think I'm just going to do surprise giveaway for my subscribers. There you go. So. Um, last thing to mention, as now we're at the 30 minute mark, going on 31 minutes, I do have a finished project. And I had talked about that shawl that my husband kind of swiped that Mr. C really, really loved. And I did finish it. Um, I had to go and get another ball. I can't find the, 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 the sleeve, the wrapper thingy for the Burnett yarn. Um, and I'm, I'm not even sure that on here you're going to be... Oh yeah, you can see the two different colors. So this color here is the Burnett. And it's a really soft yarn. Um, got the big ball for roughly $10. Uh, the smaller balls were $3.97. Picked them up at Walmart um, here in Wainwright. Um, but it is huge try to do this slowly nope not doing it slowly but yeah as you can see it's going to just cover um, let's see hand hand and it's draping in the middle and it has the squared off bottom which doesn't want to fit in the screen either so it's nice and huge I, I covered him with it and it yeah, it, it basically is like a mini blanket for him and quite warm. Uh, the dark gray stuff was this. This was, oh, this is probably backwards. Um, it's called Emu Snowball. So I apologize for that being backwards. That was the Goodwill find of the day because on the price tag it says $6.99 each and there was the eight balls of it. So that would have been like 56 bucks. Well, the bag was $8 or something like that. It wasn't very, very expensive. So, yeah, I got a deal of the century. Um, and it's 63% uh, wool, 37 acrylic, 37% uh, acrylic, and 100 grams. And it was a... I would say that uh, they're both the chunky weights. This was a six, a chunky six, I do believe. And this is even heavier. Like, this has got to be, like, super thing. But it's really heavy because it's wool and very, very warm. But it made Mr. C very happy to have it finished. Um, he didn't take it this time. We took it the one time there. So I apologize if I have shown that before, but I wanted to show that I... I did finish the project. <laughs> I still haven't sewn the pocket on, sorry, on my sweater. I have a feeling that that sweater is going to get old and ratty before I actually get that pocket on. But uh, my sweater, I don't care. <laughs> um, and just good to get projects done and feel that bit organized. So, uh, okay, so yes, talked about Dollarama awesome deals in the Dollarama. Uh, tons and tons of candy and there's household and there's some groceries and some flowers and they've got cards and craft stuff. Um, if you're into Magic the Gathering, they got those too. Um, and the teacups absolutely as my work in progress right at the moment. I'm looking forward to getting them finished. And you met Bob. And that, that's Cleo, and you saw Simon earlier, and Copper's over here um, in his in his sweater. Let's see. There he is in the sweater that I made him 
and out of uh, piece uh, this that and everything acrylic yard a lot of it was Bernat some of it's uh, Red Heart and I winged it <laughs> went and did another modified pattern so wrapping this up quickly I hope everybody has their week has been really really good Mr. C is feeling much better and he's straining again um, they fixed it let's hope it stays fixed and I'm going to say good night good morning and good day life is a craft project make it fun peace love and happiness and we'll talk at you later bye